Hi there, this is Terzi, and I want to welcome you to the Unreasonably Grateful podcast. Uh, some of you have been with me for a long while now. Some of you, perhaps this podcast has just popped up onto your feed and you've listened to it for the first time, which I know happened to a dear friend uh, just last week. So I want to welcome you if you're new and thank you for being on this journey if you've been with me for a while. And just a reminder that right now what I'm doing is I'm reading stories from my newly published book by the same name, Unreasonably Grateful, Living in Grace by Choice. Um, also, you know, I don't have your answers. You do. This podcast may give you a little bit more freedom on your journey as you recognize maybe some universal truths that live in the stories of all of our lives. So, um, you know, take what works, leave the rest. We do learn from one another's stories and which is what inspired and led me to write my book and begin the podcast. Uh, this is like 141 episode. I don't know how many weeks that is, but I've loved the journey. I've loved being on this journey with you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Today's story is called a uh, new view. So. This is um, really a story about how different things look uh, when you see them uh, once you've begun recovery. And I had this really beautiful conversation with someone who's fairly new in recovery recently. And we were just laughing and joking and talking about what a common denominator there is that binds us in a very special way when we've gone through the process of recovering all those broken off pieces of ourselves. Um, there's just a, a deep connection that we can't deny. All right. So this one's called A New View, and the date on this is 1987. A glass of water looked different, like springtime, fresh, clean and welcoming. After all those years of drinking water to ease purging, my appreciation grew for the little things, the simple things, often overlooked. The colors on a flower, the dew on a blade of grass, the salt on a saltine cracker were magical, and happiness welled up inside of me, just noticing them. I would say to people when sharing about recovery, I'm recovering all the broken off pieces of myself. I came to see addicts after working with many as some of the most gifted, talented, and bright lights I had ever met. Addiction is an alternate life that is created to avoid being responsible for being all that you were created to be. So the insight on this chapter is, who were you created to be? And what alternative have you created? So maybe this week, take the time and answer those questions, journal about them and look at who do you think you were created to be? What are some of the natural gifts and talents and interests that you have? What are those qualities that others admire in you? And maybe the ones that you haven't particularly wanted to be responsible for. And then what's that alternative view of yourself that you've created? And remember, the more we live based on who we were created to be, the more it will feel like you're in flow, that it's just a natural expression of yourself. So take that on this week. And see if you can't enjoy who you really are at the core of you. And let that be expressed in all the creative ways that it wants to express. Okay? So, if you're enjoying this podcast, sure, share it with people in your life. I love nothing more than having new people discover there's tools and possibilities and communities that can support them on their journey. And have a beautiful week and let's be the creative beings we were created as, okay? See you next week.